There's like an ecosystem in yeah. here. Uh, we'll be. Hello, welcome to the Shaylisi channel. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> wow, you're at, it's just like you're in a YouTube video. I know. Except it's not because nothing works. Everything is broken. What? Why? Why? Because you got to fix this PC 800. Biker Bay Beth is coming. Oh yeah. Triple B's baby. Triple B's wants this one, man. They both match here in the back, and uh, something tells me this thing hasn't run in a minute, huh? Um, I don't want to talk about it. It's okay. I'll talk about it anyway. So this bike hasn't <laughs> has it run in a while. You could probably go back and check the exact day that I rode it last in a YouTube video. But you, please don't. I would give you a hard time, but I taught you backwards as a joke. And I should have said something too, because if you don't know, you don't know. Motorcycles aren't like cars that you can't just let them sit for a little while and then they're just fine afterwards. Motorcycles, if you let them sit, they just start to rot away and not work and everything breaks. Even as it's just, it's one of the very few vehicles that you have to drive it. You have to ride it in order for it to be okay. It's like they lose a part of their soul or something when they just sit. It's hot underneath the lights as you're getting grilled over here. When was the last time you rode the PC800? When was the last time you checked the oil? When was the last time you checked the tire pressure? Oh, like. Listen, me turn never. up the lights. Let's see if it even so rolls. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know. The brakes could have bound up. Oh. I know we're just like, oh, we're going to fix it up, get it running, but you know that's not guaranteed. I have faith, and faith is a fact. They said it in Arrested Development. It is rolling tough. I hope that's just because the tires are low. I'm always rolling tough, you know? Look at all my bikes. They're tough bikes. <laughs> ah, so, such a big bitch. <laughs> Okay. That's fine. That's not going anywhere. Probably not. It looks like shit. It looks bad, Shay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be real with you right now. It's bad. It looks bad. It looks bad. Well, let's see if it'll run. It is, it is a Honda. Oh, I just realized that this has wood in it. Dude, my bike's not the only one with a block of wood helping it along. What the, what the hell? Would you look at that? <laughs> Go ahead and pop that trunk. Let's get it the battery. Do you remember all the stuff that has to come off to get the battery out? I would say it's like everything. Yeah, I know for sure that that uh, rear passenger foot peg has to come out because that has to come out for some of these plastic pieces to come off to access the battery. So we'll start there. What does it look like to you? It looks like uh, six to me. Six is a very common Allen size. Got it. Was it the other one as well? Because it's a different bolt over there. Yep. Yep. Okay. You just switch right to this. Oh, future. Nothing behind it. I just kind of use your noggin when you're pulling it off to how brittle it is. So you can kind of feel around and be like, is this going to break? Because once the plastic pieces break on these, that's it. Which is the downfalls of oh, buying a, a Tupperware glide. Cool. See any bolts holding this big piece on? Yeah, here. So on this, yeah. body panels always be a 10 or an 8. Almost always. Why they never use 9, don't ask me, but I don't know. 7, 8, 9. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the right one? Yeah. That was hilarious! Got him! Cool. Now pull on it gently, because we don't know where else it might be. Firmly grasp it. Oh, you know what else has to come out? That back rubber bumper. Rubber bumper. I'm remembering, I'm remembering. It's all coming back to me. Do you imagine breaking down on the side of the road? On this bike? That's the whole point. It's not supposed to. <laughs> That's why they covered it in all this stuff. Very confident Honda engineers were in this motorcycle. It's too confident, some might say. So is that out? Come on, give it another tug. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, now we have access to the battery, kind of. Looks like we're actually gonna have to take this off too, but it looks like we can kind of just do that. Cool. Without hitting any metal, take off that battery terminal right there. This one? Yeah, I cannot touch the battery terminal and metal at the same time. Well, that's scary, I feel like. Like it's hard to do, it is. I'm nervous now, can I use my fingers? Yeah, absolutely. Straight up and down on it as you can. You can use your fingers now, then use your fingers. See, thinking around corners. They don't like to make it easy. All right, pull that battery out. Good job. I don't think I have the hand strength to like lift it with one hand. Cool. 
Perfect. All right, new juice. Now don't touch any metal on the way in. For the same reasons as before. Also try not to knock those. Um, oh, the spiders. The amount of life. Oh, the spiders. Living, There's like an ecosystem in yeah, here. Living in this motorcycle right now, I imagine there are probably hundreds of creatures calling it home now. Ask Shelby how many rats nests and mice nests he's pulled out of air intakes. They love to go in there and make a nest. Happens all the time. Cool. That was so. like so nerve wracking. <laughs> So, like playing operation. Let's get this bad bitch back on. You're gonna have to be very careful, get that positive in there. Okay. Because you have to do it from up top while also not knocking that terminal. Yeah. God, this is like it's hard, right? If it was easy, everyone would do it. Don't use my thing on me. <laughs> I'll probably tear a little bit away from that or pull it back. Use something so you can actually see what you're doing in there. I like it to be a mystery. Making it? Are you winning? You winning, son? You do it, I believe in you. No. What happened? Did you drop it? Uh oh. Uh -oh. You do it. Motherfucker. I heard something click. Is that a good click or a bad one? A bad one. A bad one? No. Yeah, you're learning to cuss at engineers now, huh? Somebody with a degree designed where that battery went. A college degree was like, that's the best place. I'm sorry, Spider. He's very upset. Me too, though. So, like, I feel like I'm, my upset's a little more important right now. I know, he has just spider things to do. We have many other things to do. It's Good, got of, it? No, it's like at an angle, I think. And we'll remember this for next time. You can put on the, put on and take off the negative. It does have enough room on the, you don't want to do that Thank at an you, angle. engineers. Holy shit. Okay, calm down. There was no need for that. <laughs> Your duct tape's doing a great job though. Okay, you gonna you know you can see if it starts. Moment of truth. Give it a, let's choke it. Because we don't wanna we wanna well, let's also we're gonna be confident that it's gonna start we're gonna open the garage door. Well that's no good. I thought okay. it was gonna start. Let it sit, let it idle. Now the choke's working. Look at that, baby. Can't keep a Honda down. As we always say, you meet the worst people on a Honda. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> you did it. You feel happy that the bike is back? Yeah. Yeah? It feels good, right? Yeah, all my bikes are my favorite bike. You've been the farthest on this bike. I know. That's not true. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a silver wing. That's not your bike. Yeah, silver wing was never my bike. It's the farthest you've ever been on a bike that you own. Not the farthest you've ever been on a bike. I feel like it's an important distinction. You also got this bike right when you started your YouTube channel? Yep. Well, not pretty soon. No, this was my first buying the cheapest motorcycle on Facebook Marketplace. Yep. Title. What was it, a thousand bucks? A thousand bucks. $1,000 well spent. Boom. Boom. Look at that. I loved it. It was still sticky. It was still sticking to it. Hardly. Well, you don't have any more ta any more well, pink tape. It's on the other side. Black tape on it? You don't want to lose this piece. I guess so. I guess I'll just use black tape. So this is a common problem on this bike and the ST1100 is they have these slave cylinders down in the bottom that leak slightly. But they leak so freaking slowly that honestly, it's really easy just to put fluid in it every once in a while because changing the slave cylinder down there is a freaking nightmare. Uh, I don't want to do it. Not today, Spider Man. We'll replace this. Uh oh. Is it just spinning in there or is it actually spinning it out? No. I don't want to, I don't want to strip it. You were right to be right. That was that uh, this bolt is ruined now. That's okay though. It was going to be. It was already kind of messed up. Don't you worry. I think it's because like one time on the road we had to take it off. We did. And we had the wrong tool. Don't worry, not your fault. Now I have a portable metric set that somebody sent me. All right, take that one out. Pull that top off. Let's see what we're working with. Icky. Look pretty gross. I haven't even opened it yet. The outside looks crusty. Probably replace this whole thing at some point. I think it just leaks. Probably some water on there. Yeah, that's nasty as f It's like some jelly forming in there. The water got in it. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, there's like absolutely no clutch there. 
Oh, the oatmeal clutch. What you do is pull it in and let it snap back out. There we go. Now the bubbles are coming up? Yeah. It was not before at all. A little baby's burping. <laughs> That's what happened. That tiny little leak on the slave cylinder down there just uh, just insidious and allows air to get in. That's what's happening. Yeah. That's how it'll get water in it, by that not being over the sides. This is just, it's just wore out is the problem. Got a clutch again. Bath. No. Microbate butts. I'm so excited to give my bitch my bike. <laughs> That's my bitch. I don't remember how to check the oil. You are in possession of a smartphone. You want me to Google it? Yeah, Google that shit. Look at you Googling it. How do you? That's on. No, probably, that's like, <laughs> good oil? How do I know if the oil's good or not? Oh no, if we it's good. I'm just saying it's a good level. Mm -hmm. Is it friendly? Is it kind? kind? Whose Thoughtful? definition of good is it? Yeah, like who am I to say if the oil's good or not? What is good? There is oil in there, yes. Truly. It was three cross hatches up. Three cross okay, that's two good. Three cross hatches up. This oil is truly beyond good meat. <laughs> yes, Josh trusts me to go ramming speed, and we are going on the cross town. Here we go. We're going poking speed. Josh wanted to make sure that I'm okay, but this is just as fast as I can go, dude. I need that big board kit ASAP. Josh and I are heading up to Forgotten Angels to get the campground and the Winnebago ready for the camp out. I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful faces there. Every year we see so many returning faces and new faces. I may not always remember your name, but I'll definitely remember your face. So please reintroduce yourself and tell me your, what your screen name is too, please. Because if you're in the chat all the time, Josh and I definitely notice. And we're here. Everybody's getting set up for the camp out. On my last video, I couldn't find my helmet and now I did, it was in the RV. Oh my God, this is terrifying. I left the Trail 125 at Forgotten Angle so we can use it as a pit bike at the camp out. Plus I still wanna bring the Green Goblin there so I can go on the group rides with everybody. Bilbo just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode and that we have the You Meet the Worst People on a Honda shirt available at brabstar.com. He also just wants to go outside. The You Meet the Worst People on a Honda shirt are only available online this year. Unfortunately, we're not gonna have any available at the camp out, but we will see you there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the ding dong diddle, and do all the things. I will see you tomorrow, Thursday, at the camp out. I'm gonna be live streaming on Twitch, and on Sunday, I will be also live streaming with Biker Babe Beth. I hope to see you at the camp out, and I'll see you on Twitch. Bye! <laughs>